Hello everyone, it's Joy and welcome back to QMake Weekly, where we bring you the latest Chinese deal prices and market trends every single week. If you're new here, simply hit the subscribe and like buttons right here, don't miss out on any future updates. This week, steel prices in China saw a noticeable rebound on the back of some positive fiscal stimulus measures. Recently, the Chinese government decided to increase the annual budget defect, giving the green light to an insurance of 1 trillion yuan in government bonds, or in the pursuit to boost economic progress. The news has had the most evident impact on commodities, primarily consisting of iron ore and steel. Market and Analysis anticipates that these newly issued bonds to accelerate developments in public and infrastructure, leading to an increased demand for steel. However, not everyone's on board with this optimistic view. Some market players argue that when you look at the bigger picture, especially the challenges local governments are facing due to the declining property market, these measures might just be a temporary rescue. They believe that while these steps do provide some basic support, they won't give an additional momentum to the economy. And the overall market sentiment still cautious and observant. Next, let's look at some key statistics. This week, apparent steel demand in China slightly declined. Meanwhile, the overall steel inventory dropped by more than 600,000 tons, while steel production growing quite a bit. It's evident that while the downstream demand remains sluggish, there's been a small uptick in supply. And with such dynamics at play, it remains challenging for steel prices to rise further. So what's our take? Looking ahead, as highlighted earlier, the market stance on the recent prophecy has been conservative. We anticipate that after the market fully preceded the eliminated advantage of the policy, China's steel market will revert to the low demand, high cost conflict. Therefore, in the coming days, steel prices might remain stable or see slight rebound. However, by the next few weeks, Chinese steel market is likely to return to a weakening trend. Well, what's your anticipation for the Chinese steel market? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up. Just hit the subscribe and like buttons right here. See you next week. Bye-bye.